What's going on guys? Today I'm going to bring you this tutorial video on how to fix your controller issues in the new Steam release of Final Fantasy IX. So, when I heard the game came out, I had to get it. Final Fantasy is my all-time favorite series. And I don't have an actual PC controller, so I use my PlayStation 4 controller, my DS4. So I started the game up and everything, got to this point, and everything was all good and, and then whatnot, and I go to start playing, got my controller hooked up, everything seems to be going good, and then I get through this part, all of a sudden, he just wanders off in a direction, and no matter what, I can't get him to wander in, like, to to move properly he just keeps wanting to walk over in what in a direction and there was nothing I could do I spent days trying to figure this out and nothing would work so <clears throat> I'm gonna show you what I did to fix it go over to this website ds4windows.com I'll leave the link in the description and you're gonna wanna go to download now select the latest version which is version 1.4.401 select that and then download the DS4 Windows.zip. Now I'm not gonna actually download it because I already have so when you first get it you'll get the the folder <clears throat> you're gonna want to unzip those both in the same location and the first time you open up the DS4 Windows it's gonna give you this. <clears throat> now when this comes up you want to install both the drivers, set up one, install the DS4 drivers, and then if you're running Windows 7 or below, you're going to want to install Step 2. <clears throat> I don't worry about the um, the Bluetooth portion of it because I'm not running it Bluetooth. So after you do that, we'll run this, <clears throat> you'll get this page. This is where you can set up your controller and you can change all your outputs, everything. You can change the color that emits from your DS4 controller and, and different stuff like that. So what you're going to want to do is navigate over to the settings file or the settings tab and you're going to want to make sure this top one, this top box, hide DS4 controller, you're going to want to make sure that's checked. And the reason being is from what I understand it somehow makes the game think that there's two controllers set up so it somehow com like conflicts so you just want to make sure that that tab hide DS4 controller is checked it took me days to figure it out days of reading forums and and whatnot to try to to get this figured out so let's start the game back up and we'll see if it works all right so once you've got the game all loaded back up then you can proceed through all of this and then if everything worked out properly you should now have full use of your DS4 controller I can move him with the joystick you can move him with the direction pad all the buttons work properly so Thank you guys for watching. If you liked that video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Okay, bye.